Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to review the most stable and most popular Android 13 custom ROM which is nameless OSP for the OnePlus 9 series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So I have reviewed nameless AOSP multiple times before and it is the only ROM that I keep coming back to. I have been using Android 13 build of this ROM for the last two weeks, last two weeks and this is hands down one of the most stable ROM for the OnePlus 9 series. If we look back at the build number, the build number is nameless AOSP 5th Jan 2023. Now let's see what all this ROM provides and what not. Talking about the basic functionality, all the basic functionality is working fine. Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth is working and calling is also working without any problems. The ROM comes with very minimal pre-installed labs and thus the bloatware is almost close to zero. Also the ROM does support 5G and it works quite well. Apart from that one great thing about this is you get fingerprint to unlock as well as face unlock functionality with this one and both of them are quite fast and accurate. And if I talk about the launcher you get the nameless AOSP launcher with this one which has some extra customization options over the basic stock pixel launcher. From the first look the ROM feels stable and snappy just like it used to feel before. Moving on as I've already shown you this is an Android 13 based build so you have all the latest and best features of Android 13 like more accents color to choose from in the wallpapers and color section and you get the new music player widget and output picker and other features. So all the Android 13 features are there and working quite well. All your banking and payment apps will just work fine as this ROM passes the safety net test out of the box and if I show you the wideband security level that is L3 so you might not be able to stream SD content on Netflix and other streaming sites. Moving on the camera that you get with this ROM is Oxygen OS 13 camera and gallery app. Each and every mode in the app is working working fine and the picture is quality is just as great it was on Oxygen OS 13. Talking about the battery, I didn't face any drains as such. I was getting 4 to 5 hours of screen on time consistently without gaming as such but the battery backup has been very good. Talking about gaming, you get full 90fps support in BGMI. As you can see in BGMI settings, you have the option to select 90fps and you can play on 90fps too. The gaming performance has been very good initially. Comment down if you want me to make a full gaming review of this ROM. Now let's talk about the customizations options that are available on this ROM. The thing about nameless AOSP is that you don't get one different section for customization instead they are scattered over different apps. So if I go into the app section you get a game space or gaming mode option and the ability to select a default launcher. Moving on to battery you get battery icons and battery style settings however you have only two styles to choose from. Inside sounds and vibration at the bottom there are options for alert slider, mute video volume and some volume dialog config. Inside the display section you get options like lock screen customizations, double line clock, media art, edge light and some lock screen gestures. Inside the dark theme, you get the option to select a pure black dark theme. You also get the option to select the minimum and maximum refresh rate followed by QS panel brightness slider customizations like the position of brightness slider and all and QS style layout setting. Then we get some status bar options like clock and date, network indicator and status bar items. And then there are some options for status bar gestures with some theming options like font, icon pack, signal and Wi-Fi icon styles. That's all the customizations that you get. You don't have any device extra or OnePlus extra setting. I feel the customizations options are very less if we compare to the standards of nameless USB. but I think the devs are focusing more on stability and more customization features will be added in the future updates. So should you install this ROM? Definitely yes. This is one of the finest Android 13 ROM that you can get in terms of stability and performance. It is currently lacking in terms of customization but it will get there. You get the support of Oxynos camera and gallery app with full 90fa support in BGMI and thanks to the developer for putting so much hard work and effort in building this ROM. Comment down if you want me to make an installation video for the same. Also I make a lot of ROM reviews and I'll be trying another Android 13 ROM. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. Thank you for watching.